So I want to do a quick video on my seed grown dragon fruit. Um, this is it right here. This is one of them anyways. I have a bigger one that's in a different pot. But um, this one was grown last year. And I started it from seed, you know, it grows up tiny and spindly. And then what happens is, uh, you know, as it produces new stems, it gets thicker. Uh, and what you see here is the after aftermath of what I've done. And I've, I've cut off all the bigger stems. Okay. The reason why I did this was because, you know, these other stems that are existing, they're a little too skinny, a little too thin, not strong enough to support the weight of a big uh, dragon fruit plant or dragon fruit crack cactus. So what you want to do is that if you want to create a, a new plant, you want the base to be nice and thick and strong. So what, and that's what these are. I'm just waiting for them to callus over because I had some like bug damage or slug damage on this one. Um, but they're nice and thick. They're going to be strong base. And I'm, I'm going to repot these as soon as they, they callus over. Um, and they're relatively easy to grow. Just put a fast draining mix. Cactus, cactus mix would be best for this new stem. See that? So these are going to make new plants for me, and they're going to be nice, strong base versus something that was seed grown. It's kind of spindly, kind of, you know, leggy, and this won't be strong enough to support a plant that's going to weigh like 15, 20 pounds after it's all said and done. Okay, that's a quick tip on dragon fruit. Thanks.